This is part two of our Solo 2021 cruise. In this part, we shall be visiting Plymouth. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Plymouth. We're in Plymouth for a week and we are staying at Mayflower Marina. Well, it's Sunday now. Sunday, the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day to all you Americans. Anyway, I've, uh, I have just literally launched the rib. So, here it is. Okay, it's not been in the water since last August, so I haven't even run the engine. So, I'm first of all, I've collected up the fuel tank. Um, it's been full of water over the winter. The, uh, I forgot to the drain plug out, but that's another matter. I'm now going to see how it starts. So, this is a let's see if it starts. That's it first. Let's put your pole cord on. There we go. So, well, that's quite impressive. Hardly had to touch the, uh, the key and we're off. Good old Yamaha. Is our boat Wanderlust? Just uh, on pontoon A11. There we are. Okay, this is the north side of Mayflower Marina. Uh, you have to go all the way around the, uh, the outside of the marina to get into the north side. So this stretch here, very bumpy. This other side of that wall over there. About that, I've just found my first ever dive shop. How about that? I had to come all the way from, to Plymouth to find one, but I found one. Hi there, <clears throat> this is Sutton Harbour Marina, and right, get it right there, that, that is uh, our old boat. It's called Seagaze, and that's a Legend 36, and that was uh, boat number three of seven so far. <laughs> seven and counting. In the background is the historic fortress, the Royal Citadel. This is Sutton Harbour Marina. On the left there was the Barbican and now we're looking at the Swing Bridge which crosses over the lock which is the Sutton Harbour Lock. In the background now you can see Queen Anne Battery Marina and then pointing back at the Royal Citadel. In the distance, you can see the uh, the breakwater is barely, barely above the water. There we are behind me over there. That is Drake's Island. Okay, so we went the other side of that uh, when we entered uh, towards Mayflower Marina. On Plymouth Hoe, we have Smeaton's Tower. Now, an interesting fact: the Smeaton's Tower used to be the top part of Eddystone Lighthouse. Smeaton built the lighthouse and they rebuilt it here. I believe what we 
have here is the Royal Navy War Memorials, uh, Plymouth Hoe. This is for the Merchant Navy. That is a statue of Sir Francis Drake. A visit to Plymouth wouldn't be complete without visiting him. Yeah, and another view of uh, Drake's Island. We have Sutton Harbour and that is in, on free flow at the moment. You see the bridge I was on earlier and now you can just go straight underneath it. That's Queen Anne battery, £1.19 for diesel. So we have the National Aquarium here. You know what? I think I'm wet enough and I'm uh, probably going to go back now. to maintain eight knots or less <laughs> which is rather difficult so I can't do eight knots I can do six or I can do 16 well by 12 I can't do 10 knots this is on this boat so for a bit of speed you transist through it on your way to 23 knots but, uh, yeah it's quite uh, quite bumpy Traffic mayhem here. Not quite sure what's going on. Well, that was my trip by rib to Sutton Harbour. There we go. I've just hung up the flags. We've got a, a Black Country logo there because uh, that's where my wife is from, uh, the West Midlands. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, the, um, the kiln, the glass kiln chimney with the chain. That's what the emblem is. Mayflower Marina is uh, not too far from the centre of Plymouth, it's uh, only a short walk and it's quite a peaceful marina. The only trouble is, when the tide's in, everything, and I mean everything, wobbles. It's like a big swell that goes through, me, through the marina and all the boats are wobbling about. I guess we're just not used to having to hang on to something when we're in the marina. <laughs> Of these for the boat, Angie. I reckon there's room on the uh, the fore deck for one of these, don't you? Probably. Yeah. 
Yeah. Only one though. Actually, this boat was the fourth boat we owned. We named it Sea Gaze. It's a legend 36. Gin Distillery. Well, this is the anchor of H. Mason Park Oil. It's been here since 1980. shopping. It's quite unusual. Building covered with plants. Well, time to take the uh, do a back around the marina and I might even pop over to see uh, there's a couple of moodies that have anchored up outside in the bay um, in Plymouth Sound. Uh, our friends from Port Zed. So I uh, might go see those two. What's this behind us here? Where? This. Beelinus 2755. It is indeed. Indeed it is. Well, that takes us back. Yeah. Here. I'm not I'm nowhere I'm going, you know. I'm the I'm facing forwards, you know. Well no, but you know. <laughs> just be cautious. Hello. We're popping along to see where they make princesses, aren't we? You I couldn't have been standing up for ten minutes ago. No. <laughs> you can't. You can't have very big boats on here because by the time they swing round. Yeah. I'd say thirty-five foot to the limit. Probably. That. Probably. This is where they make princesses. tight until you can reach them. <laughs> Half the factory's built on pilings though. Okay. Go on, open it up. No, no sorry. Can't do that. Can't do that my friend. Pussy. We've got to crane this onto the back of the boat now in preparation for us leaving in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> 